Yo, this is 118. Oh, what's up, what's up? 118. Uh, we're going to do this episode about... What What? what, what what'd you like, Chris? We could do pain. Pain? Let's do pain. All right, we're going to do... This episode's going to be about pain. Uh, I guess we'll talk about all around pain. And then, I guess, our, our, uh, our experiences with pain. And, right. Uh, Go ahead, Chris. Take so, the floor. So, 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 obviously, you know, as a regular human, I hate, I feel like I hate pain, of right? Course, of course. And that's physical, mental, emotional, vibrational, however you want to flip it. Like, any kind of pain, like, when my vibe is pain, like, when I'm depressed or some shit, or when I was young, I used to, I, I, I equate my young, uh, when I used to have stomach issues, I used to have, like, stomach pain. And I feel like that was probably because of stress. Yeah. And, uh. So, like, with some pain, there's always a reason for pain. Like, you ever hear about those people who who don't feel pain, and it's like, oh, their life is dangerous because they don't know if they get cut, they can just bleed out and shit. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, bro, I, I remember seeing that at Mars. Who knows if that was real? But... I mean, there was, I mean, the, 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 I heard about that, too, and I always thought about, man, how would that be? And it's like, man, that might be cool. You would never get hurt. But then again, like, you still need to know what can hurt you, you know? Right. And if nothing hurts you, then, yeah, bro, you're not going to know. You don't feel it, but your body still is is uh, affected by it. You used to get bruised and shit. You just don't feel that shit. Yeah. Yeah. But we need it from from the lowest form to as an awareness. So if you accidentally cut yourself, like, oh, shit, be careful. Like, you don't want to keep going because you get, like, fucking... You, you need that shit. The same way we need it physically, uh, we need it emotionally. Because that's how we can grow and heal. Well, okay, so so equating emotion to physical pain whenever you work out. You know, they say no pain, no gain. Because when you're working out, if you don't feel that that resistance, that like... Uh, yeah, if you ain't trying, like, like, like you don't... Yeah, bro, the, the, the hope... The, the, to build muscle, you, you have to, like, push the muscle. Them. Yeah, you have to push that muscle, you know... To its limits. Yeah, in a way. Obviously, hopefully, you, you know that, you know, you shouldn't go too hard, right? But, like... Right, you don't yeah. want to hurt yourself. But you don't want to be much. in... You don't want to be in there and just be able to look around and you're half-assing the... You know, like, you barely put any force into it and the whole thing's moving. Like, come on, bro. Like, you're here to work out. You're here to fuck around. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like actually, you know, like like you said, you know, like... You, you gotta be sore. Yeah, you know, you, you gotta feel something, right? You have, right. To feel like, you have to feel like those muscles have been working. You know what I'm saying? Right. Is that, in order to get anything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which sucks, which is why so many people don't like to work out, which is why I don't like to work out. I feel you, but... But it's no the pain. only way. Yeah, see, no pain, no gain. And if you... That's what I'm saying, you know? And that's... that's and, and if you want to live a life with no pain, then you're not going to hit no gains. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> and that's emotionally, that's that's uh, psychologically, like, oh, personality. Hell, you know, so many people seem to turtle up and run away from pain, you know? Whether it be physical, like you said right now, working out. Or whether it be like, you know, mental or emotional, like having to confront people about something that's bothering you or having to be real with someone or having to state your opinion or having to state that you don't like what's being said or what's being done. You know, some people would rather like not deal with that, you know, put it to the side. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, because I, I, I'm afraid of getting hurt. Well, you're already unhappy. So which one would you rather be? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's, it's like it's like it's like a lot of people don't want to be single. A lot of people don't want to don't want to be a relationship. And it's like, uh, look, man, being single is hard. Being in a relationship is hard. You know what I'm saying? So right. don't sit there and say, well, I want the easy way. There ain't no easy way. Right. Pick your struggle. Yeah, pick your and struggle. enjoy it. Yep. <clears throat> yep. The journey. Yep, yep. Because in, in the end, like, a lot of times these stories that we have or when we're going through it, it's not funny. But then later on, we can look at it and laugh like, damn, I really suffered. But I learned so much. Yeah. Just like, you know, I, like somebody who starts off in the gym, like, and doesn't know shit. Like, man, I was scrawny. I didn't know shit. But look at me now. Yeah. The same way that you can grow emotionally yeah. by being hurt. Yeah. I gained from that pain. Right. Yeah. Which no matter how old you get, it, it can still get hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I get it. You know, there's always a fear of getting hurt as a tendency. But, like, if you're not learning, you're not living. You know what I'm saying? So some, sometimes you got to... You know, you gotta explore new things, especially if you're not happy with the with the with the with the situation you're in. Then just got okay. Then clearly, what I'm doing something not right. I, I right. got that's I got, an alert. Exactly. That's a red flag. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I got to something to change the situation. You know what I'm right. saying? So just sitting there and waiting for something to happen, you know, it's not gonna happen. You know what I mean? Like, I'll admit, bro. Like my marriage, my marriage is not going great. And you know what? I, I was one of those dudes that tried. I was like, well, you know what? Maybe if we just like, if I let it straight, you know, like it'll 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 work itself out in the mm -hmm. long in the long run. Right. Nah, 
Nah, you know what I'm saying? See, I, I wanted to avoid the pain of reality. You know, I, I had a hunch that things weren't going good. You know, that we weren't on the same page anymore. But I didn't want to confront that. I didn't want to have to find out, have her tell me that, hey, yeah, you know what? We're, we're growing apart. You know what I'm saying? I was afraid of that. And obviously, when I had to eat that, well, I had no choice, right? You, I, had to, I had to eat that. And you know what? You've seen it. From that pain, I've gained. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it was pain that, yeah, I avoided. Maybe if I had avoided it, it wouldn't have been stretched out like it, like it is right now. But you know what? I learned a lot from this situation. You know, like, like, like my mama does not like to see that this happened to her son. And no, no, nobody would, right? Nobody right. wants to see that someone they know is, that they, that, that they, that they, you know, that they know is going through some marriage issues. But it, it if, 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 if you can see that the person's grown from it, then man, you know what? You know, fuck it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you, and it's hard to remember, but God won't give, won't put you through nothing you can't handle. Exactly. And yeah, sometimes it does feel like I'm getting put through like seven years worth of lessons in like seven months, but it's all good. You know, they wouldn't give it to me if I couldn't handle it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. there's been moments where I have wanted to break down, bro. But you not have to just, just break down and cry, break down, give up, break down, say so I don't want to do this anymore. But it's like, no, bro, I, I got, I got, I'm here as an example. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I can do it. Then, every, then anybody, I can do that shit too. If I have issues in my marriage, if I, if I got, if my situation in my life is not good, I can, I can, I can make it better. You know what I'm saying? Despite the fact that it might hurt to have to, to have to open up that realization box. You know what I'm saying? To have to open up that letter that says, "Sorry, you know, you've been rejected. Sorry, you know, you're not. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all, yes, some, some rejection and and disappointment and all this stuff are are are, are going to hurt. But if you can take it and, and eat some humble pie with it and maybe maybe accept it. I earned this. Maybe I did something for this to happen in my life. I'm not just a victim. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. You can, you can. Once again, seems to be the theme of this podcast. Gain from this pain. Right. You know what I'm saying? You grow. Yeah. Definitely grow. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. That 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 sits that vibes with me too. Cause like, uh, because you gotta remember, like, cause this is part. Of, that's part of the game. It's the, it's the pain, I right? I like, you know, some, and, and you know what? That's the best way to put it. Some, I, sometimes you just got to say, I got to try to the game. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, like I'm not going to sit here and say, why did my marriage not go right? You know, what happened? What could I have done? It's like, you know what? Sometimes you got to try to the game, bro. Sometimes that's just how things are. Sometimes the, the person you're with, you're going to grow apart. That's, that's the sad truth. That's why you got to make sure that you are on your shit. And you got enough love for you. To respect yourself and not be in a relationship where you know you're not getting treated the way you want to be treated, or you're not getting the amount of love that you're putting in, you're not getting that back. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. It's, instead of putting up with it and, and, and hoping that things will work themselves out, you know what I'm saying? You can you can o- open your eyes and say, you know what? I am feeling this, and and I know I'm worth more, and you will look for that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of yeah. just trying to to play the victim or to just pretend things will be okay eventually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that goes with like uh, work life too. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's so, so there's a point where you got to like, uh, kind of like marriage is kind of like work life because you, you weigh out the pros and cons of like ending it here and now and, and, and waiting and, you know, the insurance and the, the stability. So then, it, so then at some point you got to think, well, maybe I can change myself, which is the hardest fucking thing to do. To to be able to just bounce shit off and be able to bite my tongue when necessary and realize that you know these are again not like my fucking best friends that I'm working with like they're just coworkers and we have, we all come from different walks of life and mm-hmm. and uh, sometimes me speaking my mind or playing devil's advocate like we were talking about earlier before the podcast it'll seem like confrontation it people. seems like confrontation or, or yeah or, yeah, or trying like to argue said, everyone's different people don't know your nature <clears throat> so they, you know they're, they're just gonna go from what they've experienced and they they, they probably experienced a lot of hostility right you they know? got their own trauma yeah, everybody's got their own yeah, trauma yeah, yeah, you know and shit triggers so, so yes well yes we have traumas and stuff we have to respect see what people with traumas have to respect other people's traumas it's crazy right, right? i know yeah. it is but we do we do yeah you know, like I know we can say stuff like, "Well, I'm sensitive," and I and I, and I go through stuff. I have I have childhood trauma. Well, maybe they do too, fam. Right. Maybe may, maybe growing up, everyone was always telling them they were wrong. Maybe, maybe no one ever let them you know. Right. Way. You never and, know and, the and, situation. And, 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 that's, though. and that's what they feel like when when someone's playing when when someone's trying to play devil's advocate, aka give the other side of the argument. Instead of looking at it like that, they look at it as you're just told you're going against. You're always contradicting. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how some people will look at it. And I get it, bro. I get it. It's like I'm a lie. I'm in Aquarius, so I gotta learn how to like you know to hold, hold that back, water. Hold back that water, yeah. but bro. Sometimes you know. Hold back that water. 
Yes, sir, yes, sir. So that's part of pain. And I'm in Aries, and I'm just, I just barging everything head first. So I have to work on my delivery. I have to work mm. on not being too direct to where, like, it's like right. I'm commanding you, or I'm just like, I've just, I've just given, like, you know, some kind yeah, this of. This is it. Yes. This is the here and now yeah. and what it is. And yeah, bro, like, like certain things like that, like, you know. You read, so you know while I while I could sit there and say well you know what my my wife is the one who maybe my personality was just too much for her and she didn't know how to once again speak her mind speak up herself and say hey I need you to tone it down you know what I'm saying mm. I'm feeling intimidated I'm feeling I'm feeling like I don't matter yeah 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 and I, you know what and then, but it goes to the thing I say to men bro like you know closed mouth don't get fed um you know I you know you can't expect everyone to read your mind you gotta, yeah it's almost more painful to be a sound mind and confront than it is to just wait until it boils to the tip and then you just I feel like that I feel but like that's the worst way to but be. I feel like either, I feel like one one is either like waiting for this bucket of piss to fall on me or me like just going to try to stop it you know like you're tired of getting pissed on or like yeah I was gonna I thought you were gonna say like me trying to get like scoops out like just instead of like just the whole well now nah, you be getting pissed on you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah, yeah it's gonna get to the point where that there's gonna be too much piss for you you're gonna snap but you could you could, you could as easily just decide you know what I'm tired of getting pissed on I'm gonna do something about this you right, know what I'm saying right, right, right. Yeah, I'm I'm worth more than getting pissed on you know what I'm saying yeah. boom you know what I'm saying I ain't no you know what I'm saying I ain't no I don't like those showers I get down like that yo yeah, that's wild. Um, what else comes from pain? Birth. When women go through that ultimate pain. Shout out to moms. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to our mom. It's like, it's, 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 it's crazy, man. Yeah. That's, it's in the pain that we will never experience. And not, I'm not, I'm not any less, I'm grateful. Right. That I don't have to experience that pain in this lifetime. You know, I don't, I don't take it lightly. I don't question any women who say, yo, I want to have kids. Hey, I get it. If I saw those videos and, and I saw, yeah, I'd be like, you know what? I don't think I want to feel that. I don't think I want all that coming out of my body. Um, my mom took my sister, I don't know how, my sister was probably like 13 or some shit, to the birth of one of my cousins. Why would you do that to her? To, to make... And I bet that's what started the whole, I'm never having kids, right? Yeah, and you know what's crazy? Like, recently she said that she they thought about, like, maybe having kids. How, now she's working how, how old is she? Uh, 30. Oh, yeah, we need to get on that, though. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if they're actually going to do it. That but. sand timer is getting kind of low, you know, getting kind of full on the bottom, so to speak. Mm. I mean, if it, I feel like uh, at a certain, if it just doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's not meant to be. Yeah. Maybe they got to adopt or something. Yeah, like, for example, like, yeah. Like, for example, if I met someone who was older, <laughs> and I made a kid, it would just be like, damn, what's this meant to be? You know what I'm saying? I mean, because shit happens. Shit it does that, happen. It life, happen. miracles out there, you. Life is not no, shit. Right. Life is a miracle. Miracles happen, right. Chris. Miracles can happen. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, but you know what? From pain, it's, 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 uh, yeah, it's a thing that I, I get it. No, no one wants to confront it. No one wants to sometimes, you know, like, like have to accept that, you, yeah, you know, it's, it's what I need right now for my growth, you know, but hey, man, like, hopefully, hopefully when, you know, you don't let that stuff beat you down, you know, because that's what life is about, bro. Like, like life is not a, life is about adapting to situations, you know. And like, you know, like, it's not necessarily always thinking, oh, things are always gonna end. No, it's always being prepared for change, you know. Because if things stay the same, you get bored as fuck. Mm-hmm. They start complaining that man, what's going on? Life ain't nothing out there. I feel like a few years ago, that's what happened, bro. A lot of the world was like, man, life is so boring, and then COVID hit, and everything else is going on. And hey, they then y'all want to get on this ride? Y'all said y'all were tired of taking it easy. We didn't want a roller coaster like this. Well, hey man, sometimes it, you get what you ask for. You know what I'm saying? And that, that, it, yeah, that was a wild ride. A lot it still of, is. I, we're not on that. We're not off this ride, bro. Yeah, but I feel like where we are, we're kind of like, all right, we're, we're kind of almost off. Well, you know, I, well, I'm on a whole nother roller coaster as well. You know? Well, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's so many, there's so many rides. Crazy, right? It's crazy. Yeah. Like it's like the solar system, like stars flying everywhere, planet. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's chaos, but it's beautiful chaos. You know what I'm saying? Because out of chaos comes order. You know. Mm. And that's that's how it has to be inside of us, bro. Like inside of us. Like for example, in the Bible, you know, God created all this life, the earth, the universe, out of out of out of basically almost nothing, right? Whatever you know, and that's what it says. Mm out of chaos out of all those stars and asteroids and comets and planets flying through the, the, the space 
came order. You keep, you know, the solar system was created. You know, the planets were put where they were, were supposed to be. The sun was put where it needs to be. But see, you have to do the same thing inside, internally. You have to take all that chaos inside of you, all that super chaotic universe of Chris, where things are hectic, where comets fly around randomly, you know, where catastrophes happen on the regular. And you have to bring order to that. You have to put everything in right order. The planets are like the chakras, and you have to align them the right way. Right now, they're all like out of, you know what I'm saying, just going, right. and they're not even where they're supposed to be, some of them, you know what I'm saying? We're just still, they're still handling the yeah, big yeah. bang. Yeah, yeah, like some of us, settling. like we're not even sure to your crown chakra is just kind of like Pluto, like is it there or is it not? You know what I'm saying? Like we, we need to, we need to, keep, we need to get to the point where we, 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 we take that chaos inside of us and, and fix it up. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that, that's what the whole uh, the Kundalini is all about. When you hear about the Kundalini, you're gonna see, oh, you know, it's about bringing energy up your spine and quote unquote achieving, you know, con, you know, like like a, a state a, a like higher state of consciousness or you know this and that well really what the kundalini is all about is is taking taking the because because most everybody on this planet has a, has a tangle of energy in their lower three chakras the first three chakras that are your sacral your root and uh I'm sorry i forgot the other one but they're right they're right they're they're, they're the first three chakras and they're, they're the lowest type and, and and what they entail what they what, what those first three chakras mean is is the first one is all about survival. The second one is about making sexual contact with, with other humans. And the third one is about control. Solar plexus, I think. Yeah, 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 I think you're right. And anyhow, we have to we have to find a way to, to, to take the energy that's all tangled in those three chakras and stretch it out to all the way to the four to, to the to the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh chakras that are that go higher. You know, the, you, you got your heart, your throat, the third eye, and then the crown chakra. You know what I'm saying? And that that's what the Kundalini is all about. Kundalini is about taking that 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 tangled energy that you have in your first three chakras and allowing that energy to go up. You know what I'm saying? So that you're not just living in those. Now you're not living in a world where your life is all about those three things. You know what I'm saying? Damn. You, you know. It's just the stomach, which is food and pleasure and, and shit. Sex down there, sex. and then just like shitting and pissing, just living, just living. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dancing, because <laughs> that's the root. Yeah, yeah. You have to stop. You have to stop running away, basically. You know what I'm saying? Oh. You, you, have, you have to grow another, you know, in the heart where you start realizing that I need to face my problems. And I need to, and I need to do this as an example. I need to be a. a, a I need to live. I need to live a good right. life. Like, to, I, I, I need to live a good life for other people. You know, to, right. to be an example. Because 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 we're not the only ones going through this. There's then, so many people going through it. And then when you get to your throat chakra, it's all about yes, I'm going to be someone who can, who 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 can who who can speak, real but uh, but be but un be understood across all facets of, of of like races and and people in different classes, right? Like mm -hmm. like hood people can understand me, country people can understand me, rich people can understand me, business people can understand me, foreigners can understand me. You know what I'm saying? Your throat chakra is about how you can how, how that. How that throat chakra now, now that you've achieved the heart chakra where you wanna you wanna you wanna do things for other people the throat chakra will help will help bring other people together you know people will hear you and they'll and they'll believe you and they'll hear the reasoning the wisdom the love in you and they'll follow you and then you and then you, you you get up to the to the third eye the third eye now you're discerning all kinds of bullshit you know what I'm saying you you see things before they're coming you know what I'm saying you're 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 not. You're not thinking so much with your emotions anymore. You're thinking more with your heart. You know what I'm saying? You, you're, you're thinking about what is. You're thinking about the big picture, not just the picture that it's me and my world and I'm the main character. You're thinking about the big picture, which is the whole world and everybody in it, everyone around me, my family, my friends. You know what I'm saying? Everyone who, who I can influence. You know what I'm saying? Child, kids, nieces, nephews, all that stuff. And then you got your your crown chakra, where yeah, man, you 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 achieve Christ consciousness. You know where you 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 have you have achieved that like I, you know, I, I understand the ego and I've tamed it you know once again so now you take in that energy that you had all the way down like you said in, in, in your feet and now you stretch it out to the top of your head that kundalini is not stretched out all that chaos is now order it's now that the, your solar your inner solar system is now aligned the right way so there's no more chaos planets aren't getting moved out of alignment comets aren't flying everywhere without any damn reason you know what i'm saying now there's order when there's order inside of you there will be order outside of you i promise everybody this you know what i'm saying so so what is they say uh, as above as below yeah yeah as above so below inside and inside us you know all that stuff you know yeah. and uh yeah man that, that that that's what it's about and, and yes man at, at every level at every different level you 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 will you at every different chakra you hit you will encounter new pain, new pain to deal with, pain that you may be repressed, pain that you may be ignored, 
pain that you maybe, you know, were afraid to confront, you know, or afraid to revisit because we need to deal with this pain. You know, we need to untangle these knots that we have in our in our solar system, you know, where, where, where the energies aren't flowing and where they should be. All the energies, like I said, most of us are stuck in those first two chakras. You know what I'm saying? Right. We literally almost have our heads up. It's like having your head up your ass. Almost, mm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, yeah, you, you need to put your head out of your ass and, you know, like, look up instead of just seeing, you know, that mm -hmm. shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Deep. Cl clip that. Right. That's a little, how I was a little bit that. of that. A little bit of that. I was that. thinking about that. Like, a little bit, little, bit, little bit of that. A little bit of that. Let's see where we at. 20 minutes, right? Yeah. Oh, let's, let's do it. Let's do another one. All right. Episode 119. But this, this, this is 118. This is 118. No, yeah. that's what I'm saying. 119. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah.